Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So I know I've been away for a while, I'll explain why once we get down to the planet's surface. Uh, but I want to jump straight into a mission. We did jump planets um, and I did update Rogue Tech, but when I updated it, it required a, um, uh, a settings adjustment and I forgot to turn on um, planet difficulty by planet type and not unit. So we're on a four skull planet, which is fine. I mean, it doesn't matter, but um, I will be switching it again before I think uh, we leave this planet. But we kind of got lucky because if I go to uh, the command center right now, uh, a lot of the missions that are here um, are all for uh, around all restoration. And they're all pretty good. Um, with regards to salvage and, and sea bills and stuff. So um, I'm going to take a relatively easier one today because we are eight days away for the, from the end of the month. Um, and we do have uh, a lot of mechs that are out of action right now. So we need to get some sea bills. We need a million sea bills this, uh, uh, this mission to be able to make our, our financial report in eight days. Now, I don't have enough time to be able to get another Lancet mechs back. So if we look at the uh, mech bay, we're kind of short right now. So we've got six mechs that we can use, which I'm going to drop all six. Uh, we don't need these, all of these mechs for this mission, but I want to try to minimize as much damage as possible on our guys. So we're going to drop everybody and we're gonna, just going to go for it. It's going to be a rel relatively easy one today, I think, depending on what we get as our enemies. But it's three and a half skulls, so how difficult could it really be, you know? So we're going to go to the command center again. Going to take secure the assets. It's an escort mission in urban environment. Taking this one for like two reasons. One, it's an escort mission in urban, which we haven't fought in a while. And then the second reason is because it's got really good uh, sea bills and really good salvage. So we should have no problem pulling this one off, depending on where we drop in and all that kind of stuff. I think we'll be fine though. So let's negotiate this sucker. Going to go full salvage because I think we'll get more sea bills if we go full, full salvage. If we go this way, you know. We could miss out on some good stuff that we might need. So I'm going to go this route. That should easily cover drop and repairs. So now we need to decide who we're taking. We're going to leave Queen B in. Uh, Sledge we're leaving in in the Avatar. And Lance 2. Do I not have Lance 2? Oh, they've... Okay, cool. cool. Um, we're not going to take Earthquake. Swifty we're taking, but we're going to move well we'll leave him here we'll put him in the com as command in this oh no sorry we're not taking swift we're taking focus put him as command in this lance and we'll put squire here and of course focus went into lance one ah fuck it let's put him here good enough uh sledge focus oops and we want gonna put squire we're gonna take um metal lark I'm taking a lot of the lower level guys for this one. So Hopper's going to be running the longbow. Uh, Focus, we're going to leave him in a bushwhacker. The avatar can be piloted by Sledge. And then the last two will... Oops, once again. I don't know why they... Am I missing something? Did they change this or has it just been me, me taking too long between, uh, between uh, playing? Anyway, we'll go this route. I think it's fine. I'm not really worried. We'll, we'll be okay in this one. And let's just, just uh, go ahead and deploy this and get it done. Alright, here we go. Okay, did we all land in the same area? Uh, we did, perfect. Okay, good. Friendly units under fire? Right here, I guess, eh? Good, 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 what the? Watch for civilians. Uh, do we ha really have to? Cities are supposed to be deserted. I took that option. So I don't know. Um, okay, so it looks like we've got enemy unit here, or units. Protection. Um, pirate blocking four, so it looks like it's just one group. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get this started and just, let's just activate, uh, Affirmative. now, got contacts right away. We're going to go ahead and activate right away if it's struck, because I don't think we're going to have any issues with this at all. 
So as we're moving up, um, the reason why I've kind of been um, away from things for so long um, is I we it started off uh, a couple of weeks ago on a Wednesday night, so a little over two weeks ago. Um, mm, let's position ourselves just in case. Lifting off. There's somebody else over there. Okay, I think we're okay. Our back's fine there. Um, started off a couple of weeks ago with um, work, and so two uh -huh. Wednesdays ago, and this is the awesome. Here we go. We move them up here. And the arch chair. Let's give it some flanking fire down this road over here. Actually, we can come. Well, I don't know. Let's go this way. Um, so. We had a, a really high-profile client come to us with a request for a video, and um, it was like a last-minute thing. They had 10 days before this presentation they wanted to do, and it was like, oh yeah, and then the video was like eight minutes long, and it's and it's going to be graphics from head to tail. They had this great idea of what they wanted to do, and we're like, dude, this is this guy's behind us. Oh, he's beside us. I see. This could be bad. Anyway, um, so we were like, okay, yeah, we can do that. And I'm like, okay, I can do it. But, like, you realize it's going to be, like, super difficult, right? And they're like, yeah, I mean, the pay was okay. Um, but anyway, it was, I worked, started to work on it Wednesday night and finished the following Monday. Pulled a 24-hour day one of those days. It was just, a, just brutal. Well organized, but very, very brutal. Um... So I was out, like I couldn't, do, I couldn't do anything during that time. Uh, let's switch this up to. Um, e Come on. Oh, I see what they've done. Now they changed this, I think. Yeah. So if you want to change your weapon type, you got to click on the damage, which I think was a good change. Did I go past it? I did. Three, four, four. Ah, crap. All right. Um, let's shred this drillson. Yes. On He's in our way. So, anyways, it was brutal. And then I was like, okay, they're gonna give me a bunch of days off afterwards. I had like, I think it was uh, Wednesday to. Because I worked on Tuesdays, so two weeks ago, so Wednesday to the following Tuesday, I had off, and then um, I ended up having to go in on the Wednesday because the client wanted a last-minute change, and we're like, "Fuck, okay, sure." So I went in and made the last-minute change, so I was off, and then I was just so burnt out. And of course, on that um, Tuesday, um, my kids had doctor's appointments, so I took them to the doctor's appointment. And then we find out that the MRI scan that my son had had, because he's got KLS, we were looking to see if he may have had depression or whatever. Anyways, the brain scan, I I'm going to just, you know, give you a brief synopsis. But anyway, they discovered that he's got part of his brain missing. Um, so anyway, he's fine. Um, but apparently he had a stroke when he was a baby, either when he was in the womb or just when he was being born or something like that. Um, oops, I gotta go here for incendiary. Let's go with the incendiary on this one. See if we can kill this guy. Anyways, so, um, we've got another appointment with the doctor coming up and it seems, I don't know, it just, anyway, long story short, we had some health issues in the family. Anyways, I was pretty burned out and it was pretty like, depressed. So I started having panic attacks on my days off. So I didn't really record anything. Um, but I started playing a lot of Seven Days to Die just to kind of take my mind off things. And I ended up playing a lot. I recorded like a couple of Horde Nights in that. Um, I think it was like four in total or something. Um, but I did a lot of playing on that kind of to take my mind off things. So um, I didn't want to I didn't want to go ahead and play um, like I thought about playing Rogue Tech but then I'm like you know what I want to leave this for when I'm you know, everything's good and back in, we can get the series going and all that stuff, right? So I just stayed away from it. So, I mean, I got a bunch more Seven Days to Die episodes to post and then, but I'm going to get back into playing this again. 
Um, I also started doing the graphics for the next um, the next series, uh, and it's going to be called uh, Battle for Astrakhazy, um, and it's going to be non-canon. I mean, Astrakhazy is uh, in the periphery, kind of between the Magistri uh, Magistry of Canopus or the Canopians. I'm I'm going to just give up on trying to pronounce that pronounce their name, um, but between the Canopians and um, Get into here. I want this Ifrit gone. Um, and the, I think it's the Marian Hegemony and the Lyrian Commonwealth. It's kind of a, it's an independent planet. Uh, the Deadfire is going to give us. The, oops, I got to keep remembering to do this. Deadfire is going to give us the best option, I think, to hit. So let's go this route. I know he's got a lot of AMS, but I'm on him. should be gone by now. No, nope, still going. Looks like we penned. Building's gone and it fell to the ground. Okay, so it doesn't have any height advantage. Um, anyway, um, so it's a non-canon series. I basically um, changed the system slightly. It is kind of canon and kind of not because uh, um, um, the way the history goes. Uh, oh shit! This guy's almost dead. I just noticed that. Anyways, the way the history goes. Um, the, uh, it could easily be like kind of canon, but I, I changed the system slightly. So there's seven planets in the system. Ah, oh, shit, the guy's dead. Is he still going? No, I don't think so. Nope. Oh well. Um, so there's, uh, I, I made it so that there's seven planets in the system. Now, Astrakhazy is supposed to be a desert world, except for um, uh, oceans at the, both poles. And um, it's supposed to be um, like scarcely hab like habitated or, or inhabited and stuff like that. Um, so, all right, Queen Bee, what are we going to do here? Should I go after who hasn't shot or should I try and kill somebody? Like this guy hasn't gone yet. And if I target him, he may not shoot the convoy. Although, who else do we have? He's going on 14. Squire is on 15. And Sledge is on 14. So let's... Aye, aye. We need to start taking care of this guy. Prepping for jump. So, I changed the system slightly. So Astrakhazy is the third planet in the system. Um, Alright, fire everything on this guy. Alright, some good hits. Barrage missed. That's fine though. He, this guy, I don't think this guy will be able to get out of the barrage. Um, so, uh, where are we going here? This is our awesome. I think we need to target that vehicle. As much as I don't want to do this, we're going to do this. I'm going to target this guy. So he stays away from the, uh, we got six kinetic, six thermo. Um, let's go with the thermo on this guy, because if we miss, we might still do some damage. Oh, nice hit. We get him? Don't think so. Good solid hit, though. Um, yeah, so the third planet is the desert planet. I changed the system. Uh, the first planet in the system is very, like, um, Mercury-like, so it's lunar environment. Second planet in the system um, has got rings on it, suffered planetary bar bar bombardment uh, earlier in its life. Um, so it's kind of a Martian environment. Um, so we're going to use that kind of like a Mars world. The third world is Astrakhazy, which is primarily a desert world with... Um, uh, oceans around the on the poles and partway through the uh, the center of the planet and then it's got one moon uh, which is basically just this general lunar environment then Astrakhazy 4 I turned into an earth-like world um, and I'm just going to say that at one point in time it was hab it was habitable um, there was like cities that are there now but have been long abandoned and either it was uh, subject to some kind of biological attack or whatever, but the atmosphere is no longer breathable to humans, which is why it was evacuated and it's not being um, not being used for anything. So it's just kind of an abandoned world, um, which is why the system was used before. Is it's like, you know, it was um, 
That was the primary world, but now it's not anymore. All right, let's get into here. We're going to go up to this uh, Ifrit here. We want to clear this guy out of our way. Great chances to hit. Do we have incendiary? Oop. i got to remember to do this. we got acid and incendiary. Let's go with... In ah, this guy's got so many... Um, he's got so much uh, AMS, but we got to kill this guy. We might get lucky. Oh, two hits. That's a lot of hits. He's panicking, too. Oh, they got to go this way. Damn. I thought they were going down this way. That's fine. Some good incendiary on that guy, though. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that, that planet is pretty much... like It's like an Earth-like world, I'm going to say. So if we've got like regular Earth-like missions, that's, what, that's the planet what we'll, what, that we will be on. However, there's no one really living there. Um, then the fifth planet is a gas giant. Uh, it's got several moons. One of them is like a, a, a jungle world with a heavily dense atmosphere. Um, also not breathable by humans. Good damage on that guy. Um, so no one really uses, no one really lives on that moon. Um, but it is a jungle environment, so we'll have ability to do jungle missions on that planet. And then there's two more planets after that. Uh, planet number six is basically an ice world, and number seven is um, another uh, sort of Martian environment, very small Martian environment wor world. Um, crap! Stop shooting our guys! Don't die. Fuck. I shouldn't have activated. How bad could it really be? Uh, pretty bad, apparently. Um, anyway, so that's the system. It's going to give us all environments, and the, basically uh, the idea is is that I was mentioning before we're um, smoke jaguar, um, um, freeborn, and uh, Curedan bondsmen that have left smoke jaguar after the battle of um, of uh, Luthien, uh, where the jaguars lose to um, Curida, and after that, they end up. Jaguar ends up in a bad position. They end up going. I think they end up. I think the Ilkhan gets killed, or the, their Khan gets killed. They end up going back to the homeworlds to. Um, I think they end up going back to their homeworlds to choose a new Khan, and then anyways, anyways, the Jade Falcons get complete, or the not Jade Falcons, the uh, Smoke Jaguars get completely eliminated. But we leave before that. We basically desert, and what ends up happening is after the clan gets destroyed. Um, in canon, a bunch of of uh, of um, their warriors end up going to um, Astrakhazi uh, because of, there's rumors of a major Star League cache there, which is why we're going there, right? There's the rumors of the Star League cache, so we that's where we're headed. Um, so there's apparently other Desgrit units apparently are on the si are in the system as well. Uh, what's this guy? So there's other, there's all be other clan units in the system, um, and why can't I get a look at this guy? Warthog, Alcorn, fuck, Cascatel, God damn it! This guy's really the threat, though. I think. I think if we go incendiary on him, we should keep him tied up. Maybe we can melt him down a little bit here. Let's just hit him. Here we go. All right, a little bit anyway. Um, so yeah, anyway, what I'm saying is it's around 2060. We're making our way there, and rumor gets out that there's a major Star League cache of weapons that were apparently de deposited before the reunification wars. Now, I don't know a whole lot about the cannon and how it runs that way, but um, the reason why we're going there, obviously, is to try and find that cache. So the, that's, that's what our goal is. Um, so the battle for um, the battle for Astrakhazi happens because there's all these different factions kind of fighting over control of the system so that they can kind of get um, uh, the rewards if the this cache is actually found, right? Or cache, whatever, however you want to pr pronounce it. Um, so, 
there's the major houses have sent mercenary units uh, under their pay, so there'll be mercenary units there. Um, anytime we see like a local unit, it's just going to be a mercenary unit that's basically shown up. So we'll just decide who it is we're fighting and where. And the idea is that we're trying to fight our way through all these people are trying to find this uh, this cache, and we're trying to find it ourselves. So that's going to be the goal. We got seven, well, seven, eight, eight worlds to fight on. Well, six planets, two moons. Uh, the gas giant, obviously, we're not fighting on, but six planets and two moons that we'll be fighting on. Uh, looks like we're going over here, eh? Um, so yeah, uh, what's up with the graphics? Lucky bastard. That was a there's, solid hit. there's been a couple of updates, a lot of dither on that. I don't know what the hell that was. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's the goal, and I'm hoping it uh, it turns out. Now we're gonna have a, you know some tactical maps and things like that. We'll have to establish a base on one of these planets. So anytime we do a defend mission, we'll be defending our own base, kind of thing. Um, so yeah, and then we're gonna ignore um, the um, faction who's hiring us and the faction that um, we're fighting against, um, and we'll just whatever the missions end up being for these two lances. That'll just be, um, uh, we'll just come up with an idea, like some ideas about what's going to be what, right? Who's going to be fighting who and why and what we're taking. So um, there'll be some missions that we'll be able to pull off, but we'll have to go with no salvage at all because it'll be a hit and run. We obviously don't have time to grab any salvage off the battlefield, so it'll have to be all sea bills. And other times we'll be able to go and, you know, take some sea bills, things like that, or uh, some uh, salvage. So it'll just be... You know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I think it should work out. I think it should be kind of cool. So, yeah, that's the goal anyway. All right, B. Um, you got to get on this awesome again. Oh, we got to make it a jump. Get as much uh, Engaging jump jet. as much agility as we can get get here, and we'll go ahead and use the vigilance on this guy. Are on her, and we'll shoot this guy in the back. Good chances to hit. Look at that, beautiful. Enemy outflank, bringing the pain. Nice. Okay, he's unsteady. I don't think that awesome is really the the threat. There's so many VTOLs here, like this Cascatel, that are threatening right now. I got to get the Avatar up here with the AMS to. Uh, to help take care of defense for the other guys yeah. up here. What can I do you, for? you need to sprint your ass up here, buddy. I need your help. Okay, let's get around to here. Now, as much as I want to target this chopper, he's got way too much AMS, so... Wow, this guy's got a really good defense. He's been hit in the back, but... That's the pretty baby. He's pretty damn hot. I don't think he's going to shoot this turn. And he's got a guy up his backside. That's the Cascatel, eh? Um, I don't want him firing them rocket packs. we got to go after him. Oops. Better chance to hit with the Improve, but we'll do more damage with the... Uh, difference of 6%. Let's go with the higher damage. Pretty baby got hit with a few of them too. It's interesting. All right. Got to get you around here as far as you can get. As far as you can get. Let's get over here. Commander. We got to shut those rocket packs down. They're going to kill a vehicle for sure. Although now that we've targeted it. Um, there might be a chance we could kill this Warthog. 64. Let's get the handheld MRM on too. We're going to fire at this guy. If we get lucky and hit his turret. I got Three rotor crits. I should take them out. Some nasty on that dumb bitch. Panicked. So they changed the crit system too. So you'll lose a weapon if, like, if you t if the weapon takes half the amount of crits. 
that it's got. So if a weapon's only got, um, let's get into here. On my way, double time. If the weapon has only got a chance for um, three crits on it, and it takes uh, two, the weapon's gone. That kind of thing. Oh, good damage on this guy. Um, let's go around here. This guy hasn't gone yet. Goes on. Oh, did he go? He goes on 21. What am I going on? 14. Yeah, he's already gone. We could get a kill on him. His side is open. Let's see if we can get a kill on this guy. Well, there goes a the building. There goes the Ifrit. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. You know what I need. Just throw it up here. I don't care if you shoot me in the back. Just get your asteroid up here. Now, do we go after the Cascatel or do we go after the Warthog? 47 with the Warthog. A lot less on this guy. I think we can. We might be able to get a kill on this guy. I know I said that last time, but we're going to do the same thing over here. Okay, we hit with one AC. Fair bit of damage. Rotor destroyed, it said. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, good. Good, good, good. That pretty baby is going to be able to move out of the uh, barrage. Why are you going that way? Well, at least you're uh, getting out of the direct line of sight. 25, 25, 22, 22, 22. Hit him, hit him, hit him. No, oh, he takes the strike. Beautiful. Not a lot of damage, but he'll enjoy that heat. Look at this thing. He's marching. Yeah, we don't hear the screams in the buildings now. Which is kind of nice. Reporting. Internal damage. Reporting. Yes, Commander. Internal damage. Which we got really great chances to hit on this guy. I think we have to shoot him. Affirmative. I have no idea how many times we hit. We're going to get out of there now. Let's just go over, uh, not on a building. Jump around behind. Actually, let's go this way. Um, I want to give these guys over here. we got another guy back here, right? Eh? I want to give these guys somebody else to shoot for on this side. Copy that. What did we jump on? Compressed air? Compressed nitrogen? What was it? Something. Compressed something rather. What they should do is they should have these things being like, I don't know, compressed nitrogen or compressed air if they blow up and explode. Right? They'd either do damage to your mech or cause heat damage or something like that. That'd be kind of cool, but can't do it now, unfortunately, since they've stopped uh, developing the game. Which really sucks. I don't know if the, I don't think the, uh, both of these guys are Drillsons, eh? I don't don't think the Rogue te Tech team has got the ability to do that, unfortunately. Well, maybe they have the ability, but it might take too long, so... I just want to get them to be focused on getting vehicles in for us now in the game. Like I said, I think, I think as of several... almost a month ago, I think that's been in beta. I think they've been playtesting that. Certain players have been playtesting that. Cascatel's... Is he backing up or is he moving forward? Oh, he's kind of moving behind a building. Yes, Commander. Um, let's push this Cascatel a bit. Lots I'm of minefields on the way. We're taking leg damage, but I can't avoid this. Oh shit! Did I lose a leg? Forty-three damage. That's the first time I've ever taken damage like that. Can he actually attack? No, he can't. I guess he's just done. Like, what the fuck? Orders. That's a fucking shit ton. They must have changed the damage for mines. Follow my lead. See, four damage. They must have changed the damage for mines. Let's go after this guy. Hopefully we can kill him. Yep. See ya. Take that as a lesson. 
Wait, what? I heard an explosion. Guess I didn't kill him. Confirmed. Okay, the casket tail is gone. So we'll forget about that guy for now. I'm gonna switch to this guy. Wow, what the hell? What is it that I'm... No visuals. I can see him directly though. Target move. I get that. Move self. Target move plus 10. Wow, that guy moved pretty far. Cautious. No visuals. I can see him directly though. Um, that's kind of weird. Alright, this guy it is. Here we go. That should do it. There we go. Reporting. One less vehicle. Can't see target. That's so weird because it was a direct... Maybe it's partially covered because the awesome was in a way. I don't know. No idea. I can't believe this guy went down though. That's a lot of damage. 43? I don't think I've ever seen a mine, mine damage that much since like... I don't know. Quite a while ago. Alright, let's find out where... I think we need to gauge this awesome again though. So we're gonna move up and engage him. He is... how much do we take? 21. Jesus Christ. Uh, we're gonna switch to the um, kinetic and try to do physical damage to this guy. Oh, nice. Everything hit. Beautiful. Oh, he's panicking too. That's nice. He's unsteady, so he's lost any evasion that he may have had. He's already gone, so we might be able to knock his ass over. That'd be nice. Anyway, so in the future series, in um, Battle for Astrakhazi, I'm going to do things like, you know, if the pilots eject, um, we can give them a chance to uh, um, join our side. And I, I'm thinking about just doing it like like via dice roll. So I'll probably just roll dice here. So I'm going to make sure there's uh, six pilots in the... Um, going to make sure there's six pilots in the um, uh, mercenary... Uh, hiring hall and then that way um, come on that's as far as you can sprint huh let's just move it keep your stability move order received. god the damage um, and then that way um, let's leave these off though how do we turn oh we are here and here okay um, that way, if we do pick up a pilot, I'll just roll a d6 and figure out who it is. So it's just going to be random. I'm not going to get a chance to uh, to select the pilot I want. Beautiful. I mean, not beautiful that we killed him like that, but he had to get out of our way. Um, but it's going to be a random pilot. So I want to make it so that we, we can't select who the guy is going to be that we hire. It'll just be whoever. We're getting killed in this mission. Gonna have to sell stuff. This sucks. Alright, uh, let's... Commander. Is it just these three left at the back now? Oh, we got somebody over here. Who's this guy? This is the what? Oh, this is the Alicorn. <sighs> uh, um... He's... Well... If this guy moves up too much. I think, oh man. I think we need to take on this Alicorn. We'll go. 
Yeah, so I want to make it as random as possible for a lot of things. Let's just fire on this guy's backside. He's got three pirate gas rifles. Rear armor it is. Nice. Good damage. So that way it's like, you know, I... I hey there. I like it when it's like, you know, you never know what you're getting. Let's get the fuck out of these minefields. Okay, at least we got our heat back. Yeah, thanks for showing up, buddy. Hopefully you pulled yourself to a position where I can maybe get a direct fire with somebody on him. Hopper opinion. won't be able to get direct fire, but... Oh, oh he can! Not in the best position Fall here, but me. they're not going to fall in behind you, dude. All right, we're going to switch these around, though. Four, five. I want to go for a chance to hit so we can hit with the most. Roger that. So yeah, it, you know, and then that way we have to kind of deal with what we get, right? When you're just kind of rolling the bones, the pilot we get, it, either we want to hire him or we don't. You know what I mean? Um, as far as the mechs that we, we pick up off the battlefield, I still haven't decided whether I want to go with three salvage or four. Uh, I don't want to go too high. Like, I thought about five, but I want to do it so that, it, you know, four salvage kind of sounds roughly where I think I want to put it. That way, you know... Um, it's going to be more than just like one mission or so before we can actually put a mech together. Five is kind of nice. It's kind of a, this balance, but I want the series to progress too. And I want to be able to have like field relatively large companies of units and stuff. So yeah, I'm thinking, thinking on four. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Three or f I think three is just too easy. Because I really don't want too many mechs, you know? Now, the other thing, too, is I could go with three and just say well, I can't choose mech, mech parts. I'll just get what I get. That's the other thing, too, right? So it makes it a little dif more difficult to... Uh... Ah, fucking minefields. I don't think I want to go that way, though. I think we'll go this way. Go indirect. Quick step in it. Fuck. Did that... Oh, how did he, why did he stop there? Is that as far as he got? What? Okay. I'm gonna go with some incendiary. At least if, oh, he's panicking now. Okay, good. Waiting for orders. Waiting for orders. Get the hell out of the minefield. Okay, you might be able to finish that guy up. As much as this awesome is kind of goofy with the weaponry it has, it's actually been doing a pretty good job. It's got good chances to hit ever since I put the targeting computer in it. And of course, now that I said that, it misses with like a lot of stuff. <laughs> but it's actually not that bad. Two ER large lasers, the large improved heavy laser, and that th uh, the, th the Thermobolt, uh, I think it's the 10. With uh, kinetic and uh, thermo ammo. Ready for orders. Alright, buddy. we got to get right. you as far I'm forward as possible. You can't move? No. Holy shit, he's got no legs left. Oh, I did not realize how badly those legs... That's a lot of armor and a lot of internal structure damage. I don't know. Something's fishy. I think you just stay here and fire at this guy. I want him gone. I want him gone. I want him dead. I want his family dead. I want a house burnt to the ground. I want to be able to go over there and piss on his ashes. 
God. Never stood a chance. Not that time you didn't. Didn't say in the patch notes that they increased the uh, minefield damage, but I'm guessing that... Oh, you know what it was, I bet you? Is the, um, the Ifrit, I bet you, dropped... Um, Awaiting orders. I bet you it dropped its, uh, its payload, and the payload had... Um, yeah, the payload had uh, thunder, thunder bombs or something along that line. All right, let's vigilance. Shoot this guy from behind. Because that's how we do. I'm not going to use the barrage on him. Target lock on enemy rear. Oof. Only two hits, eh? Receiving you. Get as far up here as we can get. On the move. Full speed. Alright, the archer's going to have to stay back here and guard the... Uh, the bushwhacker. I don't know what we're going to get once we get our guys into the uh, our vehicles into the um, extraction point. But that awesome and the uh, avatar better both be there. Longbow, I mean, if it's there, it's there. If it's not, well, we can go indirect with it. And of course, Queen Bee can jump, jump wherever the hell she wants, so Yeah, good luck with that. Well, at least she's keeping them distracted. Skipper. Let's get up here as far as you can get. Taking some minefield damage. 13, Jesus. 18%, 4%. Let's go with the bigger chance to hit on the drill sin. Here it comes. Burn them! Panicking. All right. That's all right. Get a little panic on them. Let's get up into here in case they decide to come around the corner. At least we're out of the minefields now. Although our vehicles still have to move. This guy's still got to come through a minefield. This guy's out of him. And I don't think, uh, I don't think Focus can move because I think there's mines all around him. If he moves, he's going to lose his leg. Alright. He's going to take a few bit of damage. How much does he take, though? I hate the fact that I can't move the camera while the firing's going on. A lot of misses. How do we do down there? No idea. Good to go. Sit tight, buddy. Standing by. It's kind of nice that he says for House Arana because that's kind of who we're working for. All right, let's hammer this guy. I'm gonna leave the barrage off in case he decides to wheel himself forward and, and uh, go after our guys. Reporting critical hit. Nicely done. She leaps. She soars. Got my attention. I do, do I? Copy that. Can you switch over to some incendiaries, please? Actually, I'm inter I'm just tempted to go ahead and switch to thunder and just see, for the sake of argument, who's this guy's back here? Lowest chance to hit. Beautiful. Just for the sake of argument. Confirm. Drop a big fat minefield there. Miss. That's good. It's supposed to be a clean miss, buddy. Confirmed. Uh, let's just stay there. Look at he's eating through this guy's 150 leg armor, and it's gone right through it. Let's drop some more incendiary on this guy. He was panicking. Ah, he's still sitting there, though. <sighs> yeah, 
Yeah, so they they added some new models. I mean, I don't know if you guys have been to the uh, the Discord site. They've added a bunch of stuff, um, made a bunch of tweaks and improvements. Although it seems like I don't know whether it's just me. The AI seems a, oh, he took some damage. Not a lot, but took some. Yeah, shoot them all down. Um. Standing by. Yeah, just give it to this guy right in the face, would you? Location confirmed. Should be in close range. Well, he's in range to die anyway. Oh yes, here and here. Um. Yeah, let's just give him the big fuck you. I gotta say, I'm liking the the mid to heavy range and low end assault mechs because you you have I mean they don't feel super overpowered to me anymore. Like uh, maybe it's because I don't have a lot of clan equipment. I think that's what it is. I've got a handful of clan things, but so you have to make do with what what I've picked up. But they don't feel super overpowered, so I feel like, I feel like the, the I don't know the game just feels a lot more balanced. We need to get you up here. Got to keep with our vehicles because I don't know what the hell's coming. It just feels so much more balanced now. Like this should have been a walk in the park at three and a half skulls with what we have. The enemy just seems far more dangerous. You can't, yeah, beautiful. You can't take anybody for granted anymore. Ready for orders. Taking a protective stance. The vehicles are far more dangerous than they ever have been. Now that guy didn't move, did aye, he? Aye. He just sat there. Didn't he? Or is that just me? Let's drop 60 more on him. Or was that the other guy? The one guy was back here. LRMs are out. That's the other guy, I think. Who we got next? Waiting for Squire. Order. I have no idea where the enemy's coming from. Don't think I've ever done an escort in this map before. Or if I have, I don't remember it. Ready to rock. Uh, I don't want you going anywhere. Drop some flames on this guy again. Firing. I gotta keep you there just in case. Gotta protect focus. I can't lose that leg. Technically you lose oh, yeah. the Mac, right? So I, I just I can't afford that anywhere. That minefields are pretty big, eh? Medium range, that's fine. Should be able to see the other guy over there. Oh no. Is this the last guy? It is. 75% destroyed. I guess I wasn't watching. Alright, let's hit him with four. Or everything, I mean. I should do it. Yep, nice. Vehicle fragged. You got that right! Ready for order. Get the hell up here. And brace. Now everybody should just be able to move, right? Okay, hopper. Oh yeah, we're on full sprint mode now. No idea where they're coming from. This is going to be scary. Uh, you stay there. Oh, he can move one square now. Let's get you over here. Yeah, I don't want to be in a building. Let's just stay here in the trees. Maybe looking this way. Affirmative. Next turn you can just sit there. Okay, let's get you up into here. Move into position. Let's get you over here. On my way. Uh, I'm gonna rotate you like this. And that's it. Enemy contact? What the fuck? Um, what?
Infantry Heavy Rifle Platoon. What the fuck? MRM Field Gun. Where the fuck did those guys come from? Where is your indirect landing? Here. The fuck? Burn these guys. See ya. Target destroyed. I had no idea. That that could ha what the hell am I looking at here? That is so fucking cool. As much as I hate it, it is so cool. The fact that there's guys in buildings. Oh my god, that's so cool. What are these guys? I hate the fact that I lost my mech, but it's still, it's still so cool. Hope I didn't lose the mech. Wow, dead fire is still shitty, eh? Infantry heavy rifle platoon. Infantry MRM field gun. Let's just fucking give this guy the fuck you. Here we go. Standing by. That's something else we gotta be worried about. Oh, I guess we have to destroy the building? I'm just gonna get my stability back while keeping everything else. Let's go ahead and fire everything on this building. Firing on target. Oh, look at the explosion. It's so awesome! Target destroyed. Standing by. Um. How much uh, improved do we have? We got tons. Let's go with the improved or standard. Wait, acid. I thought I had improved on this guy. I guess I don't. Doesn't matter. Fuck you. Target destroyed. That was pretty cool. Like I said, as much as I hated the fact that we lost the mech in that, Commander. that is still so freaking cool. Move order received. Hope we didn't lose the pilot. Um, let's get into here. Back to back. Affirmative. I hate the fact that we lost the mech. I never expected that in a million years. I'm on the move. You never expect the Spanish Inquisition. That's for damn sure. Affirmative. That's so cool. Now I don't know if that's a rogue tech thing or what. Any more enemy contacts? Where? What are they shooting at? <laughs> so cool! <laughs> Well, now we know we do. Now we know we need to blow all the landscape up. You got my attention. Do I? So do they. Let's see what's the worst one here. Heavy rifle platoon. What's this guy? We have no idea. Let's just tab through everybody. Infantry Goss field gun. I think that guy's got to go. And we got 
Infantry Goss Field Gun. It's indirect though. Infantry Flamer Platoon, not so bad. Infantry Flamer Platoon. Infantry, infantry Flamer Platoon. Another, how many platoons are there? I guess it's the... You could target them platoon specifically or you could target the building? It seems to be... Strange. So is that direct or indirect? We're going to just blow the building up. Um, I want to save the incendiary. I don't think so. Roger. Target destroyed. Better off just blowing the building Awaiting up, I think. Orders. 80 hit points in the building. It's enough. Sledgehammer. Mm -hmm. How many hit points does this building have? A hundred? They're not hard military installations. How much does this one have? Uh, bucket. See ya. Ah, oh, the explosions are so beautiful. Look at that. One less structure. That opens up such a wide array of possibilities. I, I really want to see that in... Uh, let's just leave this off. Oh, right here. You got it. I really want to see this in... Um, once they get the vehicles implemented. Although I think they need to re rebalance the mechs again with that. There's need, there needs to be balancing happening because at a certain point mechs aren't going to be the uh, the most threatening thing on the battlefield. It'll be the uh, the buildings. Not buildings, but infantry, like hidden infantry. Okay, that's that gone. Target down. Okay, got a dropship coming in. Two, three. Good work, Commander. Hold this position until the package is underway. There's our dropship. So we're going to send Queen Bee over there to find out what we're up against. Ooh. Uh... Juggernaut? Hitotsumi? I'm sure I massacred the pronunci pronunciation of that. A long tom. Of course it's a fucking long tom. What else would it be? Boulder Serpentis. Talk to me. Um. He's moving out. We need that long tom gone, please. It's going to be lousy chances to hit. <sighs> 66 on this guy. He's got an ultra 10. I mean, we could... Um, There's the long tom. Let's go uh, thunder, chaff, thunder, and I'm gonna double up the. Ch Oops, I'm gonna double up on the chaff, just to make sure he, we, we give him some negative to hit. So that should give them plenty of negative. I don't want to be on this building. But I don't want to be standing in front of them either. 
It's not really a building though. So let's get into here. Look at this thing. Let's shoot him. Oh crap, look at that, eh? The barrage will take out the minefield. It's coming in two turns though. Okay, two good hits. We got the barrage down in this area anyway. Alright. Commander. Let's give him a target, buddy. That long tom needs a fucking target. It's gonna be you. Can you get in to see the long tom? Just barely, huh? I don't care. You should be you got the most armor. Should be able to handle these guys a little bit here. Let's change this to thermo. And firing. Okay, a little bit of heat on those guys. Not a lot. Alright, Larky. Um Copy that. Ah. Twenty-one on this guy. See, here's that's so, so weird. Oh, right, because the other guy hasn't moved. That's right. Um, AP Goss rifle battery. What the fuck is that? This is a three and a half skull too, man. Two large improved heavy lasers. I want those. Broadside fast gam. It's not nice. I think we need to target this guy though. Got to get him shooting for anybody but the vehicles. Did he take mine damage? Yeah, he did. 11 and 11. Not bad. He should take some damage too. Four. Oh, you hit too. Nice. Tastes like burning. <laughs> Fuck off. That shot got through my armor. Uh huh. Commander. All right, what are we looking at here? Do we have... We got acid, right? Oh, wrong one. Really low chance to hit. I'm going to leave these lasers off so we don't overheat. What about you leave this off till we get closer to? Probably. And let's use the acid on the juggernaut. Yeah, couple. Come on, man. You still got one more turn out. Oh, man. Even two turns after this. He's suffering. Damn it. Vehicle stealth repaired armor. Of course. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Orders. Where's that fucking long tom? I can't I can't ignore this long tom. Um Hydra's in range. Artemis this five thirty four percent, eh? Shoot him. Commander. 
Commander. Fuck this bowler. Firing at enemies. She leaps. She soars. She can Fighting jump over down. a tall building in a single bound. Order. Nope. Uh, yeah. Lucky. Ten four. Got to be on this guy. Well, we seem to do more damage with the Artemis. All right. Still alive. Good to go. Could just fire the thermal bolt at that thing. Let's move over here. Let's go. Drop our heat. Thirty-one. How we doing here? Pretty darn good. Engage. Fuck. No real splash damage, huh? Twenty-four damage with mines on this guy. Yeah, they they don't care about uh, they don't care about us. They're gonna we're gonna lose this one. That's going to really suck if we lose this. I got to sell so much stuff. <sighs> okay. Shooting at my guys. That's good. It's good to go. Let's shoot at the guy that hasn't gone yet. Let's shoot at this guy, I think. Much as I want to shoot at the other guy, I'm gonna go with acid as well. Ah, crap! We've only got 60 left. I don't want to say that for the juggernaut. I think. Well, this guy's got a shit ton of armor too. Look at that. He's got a really high melee damage too. Let's just hammer him. Okay, both ultras hit. It's nice. It's nice. Shit, we got one more turn. Oh, good shooting. Kill him, kill him! Yes! At least our allies are doing something. Bomb Tom's taking the barrage. Fuck. I'm losing armor. We all are. We should be able to kill this long Tom this turn. Hopefully that vehicle can get. He's going so damn slow. I think it's still two turns before he gets out. Well, if he, you know what? If he gets destroyed. Do I? Christ, if I move out here. Wait, where's our guy? Right there? I can't get exactly between me and him, though. Or him and the juggernaut, that is. Let's get to here. Affirmative. Let's put some rounds up this juggernaut's nose. Um, I think it's got to be this way, though. Target confirmed. Barely did anything heat-wise. Orders. My field's on the way.
What has he got left? Still got a fair chunk. Let's just go ahead and fire all this stuff at him. Damn. Okay, he's gone. Good. One problem solved. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Saving that acid for this juggernaut. Alright, let's get you... You're all wobbly, eh? Let's not move. Let's take our best chance to hit. We're going to switch this around to... Uh, oops. Fuck. Gotta keep remembering. Kinetic. Damage 17. Oh, it transfers it to the internal. That's right. Alright, firing. Oh, really? 31? 87 with a the thermal, eh? Alright, that's fine. That's good heat on him. Standing by. Jump to minefield. Jump to minefield. Jump to minefields. Not here though. Roger that. Let's go ahead and get our stability back. Shoot this guy in the back. Got the angle. Taking the shot. Okay, he's backing up. That's nice. Landmines explode. Acid times eight. Huh. How much incendiary do we have left? Still a bunch. Let's go after this guy. Ooh, both lasers hit. There's a whole huge chunk of incendiaries as well. Beautiful. Critical hit. Nice. Fuck, come on, man. Still got two more turns. Ooh, lower leg destroyed. At least he's doing some good damage. Who's going? Oh no! Oh, that guy's going real slow. Not worried about him. Receiving you. Let's give this guy the last thermo. Here it comes. Burn him. Long range missiles. It's fine, man. That's okay. Orders. Don't move, man. Standing in a minefield. Kind of not a good thing. All right, we got our last 60 uh, incendiaries. What else do we have? Um, LK. Chaff. Thunder. I mean, we could apply thunder to this guy. Apply liberally. It's too bad it's a good chance to hit. We got the Hydra as well. Let's heat this guy. Oh, yeah. Yes, Commander. Can't stand the heat. Don't be anywhere near us. All right, um, let's go ahead and as much as I don't normally do offensive pushes with her, we've got a super really good chance to hit and I don't want to take any more damage, so. Nice. Target neutralized. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Oh. Fuck me. That's my bad, sorry girl. Heavy damage. Yeah, you always take heavy damage when I'm in charge. Order. It's because I'm an idiot. Sometimes. Alright, let's put 40 incendiary on this guy. My long range missiles are out. 
Yeah, not a lot of heat, but he is standing in fire still, so. Commander. Roger that. Can you acid this guy, please? Acid his ass, droid. Uh, actually, let's go half and half. This will give us a few more turns of splashing in with acid. Acid 14. You got 8 before. I don't know if that counts. That's like 22% increase in damage, theoretically. Theoretically. Give him some Hydra. Oh, look at the heat. That's insane. LRMs are out. Good thing I don't have a lot of that. It's kind of, I still feel like it's cheating. Uh, you're out of LRMs, but let's... Or, uh... Incendiaries, but just fire the regular stuff. Here we go. Maybe we can get this guy... Oh, he's stressing. I was going to say, maybe we can get him to panic and then we can uh, get him to bail out. Alright, he's super heated, so let's just switch all the way to acid. Acid this guy up. I'm out of short range missiles. Awaiting orders. Um Not the optimal location. But it does give us a chance to attempt to shoot his leg here. Um, yeah. We're going to go after this leg. Confirmed. Ooh, there it goes. Target's taken. Have a seat, buddy. Okay. Look at how slow this fucking guy is. Ready for orders. He's just like, he's like he's running out of gas. He's just getting slower every turn. We're firing it all. I'll make him dead. Looks like we penned somewhere. A couple places actually. I don't know where though. Oof. Supposed to be nobody in those buildings, but apparently there was. Orders. Just fire, hope he hit his legs. Looked like a couple internal hits. Reporting. Critical hit. Who's next? Orders. Okay, we're shooting him from the side. Oh, okay. Um, I think we can take his leg if we just fire chaff at him. Let's find out. Looks like it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Death by chaff. <laughs> oh my god, thank you, we won. <laughs> oh god. Well, we at least need... They didn't all survive. Decreased by 25%. Fuck you and your decrease. Well, for, we're, we're going to spend that in repairs, that's for sure. Easily. Man, we got to take C-bills in this. Good XP for the pilots, though. That was really kind of one of the things I really wanted. So we got some juicy XP for these pilots. Let's see what we got here. All right, I got five pieces of salvage. We need to take stuff that we can sell. AP Gauss rifle battery. 1.5 million, a bazooka? What the hell? Is this single shot? It better be single shot. Two ton handheld, internal ammo. Missile has five hit points, 15 damage dealt directly to internals. Carries one salvo, one shot. Yeah. How much does it weigh? Two tons. 
So it's kind of interesting that that's like 70 damage. So that's not bad. If you didn't have anything else, it's not bad. Broadside, we had one of these. It never really worked for me. So I don't know. Going to leave it off for now. Like I said, we need sea bills. So we got to look. Three pirate Gauss rifles at 4.5 each. Actually, let's go back up here. Looks like there's a lot of handheld items, which is kind of nice. So there's two of these. I don't know if that's a total or that's 1.5 each, I think. So I'm going to put that there because that could be 3 million. I'm going to put it there for now. Okay, Bright Blooms, no. Gauss Rifle, Pilot. Pilot, Pirate, no. Grenade Infernos. One ton handheld AoE. Um, one shot, okay. It's a test weapon, looks like. Handheld MML9. Oh, that's kind of cool too, though. Um, 90 shots per firing mode. So, SRM and LRM. So 90 shots each. So it's 10... Is that 90 shots each? How much does it weigh? 8 tons, though. That's a pretty damn heavy. Yeah, internal ammo, 90 each. It says at the bottom there. I wish I could, like, click on this and have this stay up. I'm pointing at the screen thinking you guys can see me pointing, but it's in the yellow there at the bottom, internal ammo, LRM 90, SRM 90. Man, I wish we didn't have to pay stuff out. Oh my god, okay. I can't not put that in there for now. Um, long Tom is worth what? 3.5 million. Let's put that there. we got to sell stuff. I hate the fact that we got to sell all this shit, though. Mag shot cannon, 40 damage. At what weight is this, though? 16 rounds internally. I don't think we can use this, though, can we? eight tons oh we can eight tons though five slots it's pretty that's a lot of slots wait 675 this is what 675 so it's six se yeah so this is 1.5 each so that's that's a good take so that's almost two million right there ppc sniper rifles 10 ton handheld Damage 20, stability 10, 10 damage dire dealt directly to internal, 10 shots. Accuracy, accuracy change based on your evasion. Ultra 10, Ultra 2s, that would have been nice a long time ago. Battle computer heat, minus 10% heat generated by weapons fire. Fuck. Um, tracking black carpus making unit harder to hit self-repairing hard gels 12 armor installed location repairs four structure and installed location four turns repair duration after taking damage immune to hull breaches and hostile conditions so I guess this is technically a vehicle thing 2.5 million though. Gonna drop it there for now. Uh, we have any big cores? 360 core. 2.4 million. 37 tons. XL engines are oh, clan XL engine. I'm not gonna sell this. I'm gonna take it though. Uh, these are what 2.5? Yeah. So it's the same as this, whether we take this or not. Um. But I won't sell this right away. I want to see if it can actually apply to something else. Triple XL Gyro. Minus 50% Gyro weight. God damn it. Hard gel quantity times four. Oh, okay. So I guess you have to put this into the uh, into the slots. See, that makes more sense to me, right? where you have the actual system that you install and then you install this stuff in this in the individual areas. That makes way more sense to me. Hatchet, 10 tons. Plus 50 melee damage. That's pretty nice. Clan heatsink kit is 3.5 million, so it's more than this. 
scroll down. Oh, God. Heavy Pharaoh. We're going to... Ah, oh, man. Well, what this means, though, after looking at this, it just means that we're going to find a lot of good stuff in the upcoming emissions. So I'm not that worried about having to sell this stuff on this one. 100,000 each. That's only 900,000. Upper hardened. Minus 5% damage taken. 5% uh, resistance to the critical hits. These are nice, too. Especially for your sluggers, right? Ah, oh, man. And this is just all ammo down here now. All right, I'm going to take this. We're going to sell most of it, but let's just take this. Okay, Juggernaut piece, awesome piece. So we're going to lose... much as I want to keep these, if we don't sell them, we're going to be screwed. Um, grenade Infernos can go. Those are staying. Large lasers can go. Long Tom, as much as I want. It's 30 tons. I don't know where I would put it. Medium laser, machine guns. Sniper rifle. 280 and a 360 core. We have a 280, don't we? Yeah. We don't have a 360, though. That might be nice to hang on to. The 280, I think we can go ahead and sell safely. Now, what are we at? We're at 2 million. Beautiful. So I can sell that. Fire control system recoil. We've got two of these, so we can sell that one. 10 ton hatchet. I'm going to hang on to it. Um, clan heat sink kit we'll hang on to. Sell that, sell that, sell that. And that's ult that's ammo, ultra auto cannon too. We don't have any of these ultra twos, so I don't think we'll ever use them. Too weighty. Um, so we actually made it okay. We, we're going to make our, uh, well, depending on how much our repair costs are. We should make this. Actually, I should probably sell this because we're not going to be building a melee mech, I don't think, in this in this playthrough. I know I said we would probably end up doing it, but requires 10 ton carrying capacity, which means we'd have to have our super heavy mech for that to be... A well, let's hang on to it. We'll see how much we have to pay out. All right. Well, that's about what we got paid. 29 days, though, is, what is the killer. But that's for the um, bushwhacker, though. Everything else did pretty well. Archer's only five days. Awesome is nine. Avatar is three. Burkut is six. That's my fault, too. Focus is out for 22. Okay, at least he's alive. The bushwhacker, 14. Yeah, because it's an Omni, so it's, it comes back relatively quickly. So it's actually not that bad. Longbow, 19 days. Yeah. So we're going to have to figure out, i got to math this out and figure out what the best way to do this is. Um, but we've got enough for the end of the month, which is great. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to try, I, I mean, I can't promise anything, but I'm really going to try and get back on schedule, trying to get an a episode out, out every day or at least every two days. Um, I'm going to try and pre-record a couple tonight as well. Uh, this is Friday night to me, for me, so this one will probably be, be out this Saturday, the 19th, I think it is. September the 19th, something like that. 18th, 19th. Anyway, um, but yeah, so um, let me know what you think. Throw some comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.